kids. And hi, Mrs. Evans. This is Miller. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Okay. Um, we're back to sing Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho. Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho, remember? And remember this brick that was in Noah's box last week? Well, I think it came from the walls of Jericho when they tumbled down. <gasps> oh, wow. That is cool. Isn't you know, cool? I wonder if you sing this song seven times and you walk around something seven times at home if you can get that thing to fall down. <laughs> Try it outside just in case it works. Well, parents may or may not be happy with that suggestion, Mrs. Oh, Evans, okay, but that's, that's okay. Maybe you, can, maybe you can set up a little tiny brick uh, block tower. Yeah. There Try we go. it on that. Yeah. 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 yeah it's right. a good idea. Well, I asked a question two weeks ago that we never answered. And I don't want to leave everyone hanging. So why does this song say that Joshua is so much better than Gideon and Saul? Do you know? Well, I thought about it. And I know that Saul was not really a very good king. He did not obey God. No, he didn't last long in that job. Right. Mm -mm. And Gideon, while he was a great man of faith, afterwards, while he was leading Israel, he fell into idolatry. Mm-hmm. But Joshua was faithful to the end. That's right. So, so he was the most faithful of all of those. So that's why I agree with the person who came up with this song, that there's none like good old Joshua. Wait a minute. Somebody else in the Bible is actually named Joshua, but in a different language. I know who it is. Oh, I wonder Do if you? you know who it is. That is my favorite Joshua in the whole world. So some of you probably already know. If you don't know, see if you can find out. I'm giving them a lot of homework. Yeah. I feel a little <laughs> bad, but not too bad. No, it's okay. not too They're, bad. They can handle Teachers it. Teachers never really oh. feel all that bad about giving homework. Nope. Nope, they can handle it. They're pretty smart. Well, we are going to sing our Joshua song today. And the other thing I did last week that was sort of silly is I got the words wrong. There are so many different versions of this song because people sang it to one another long before anyone actually wrote it down and wrote the notes down. In fact, the first people who sang this song couldn't read or write or write music. So they sang it to one another and they learned it by ear just like you're doing right now. And sometimes one person would hear it a little differently or they'd put their their own unique twist on it and then there would be different versions out there so there are lots of different versions of this song and the version I know has slightly different words but I'm going to try and stick to the words that are on your word sheet if you don't have your word sheet and if you don't have something you can use as a drum safely why don't you put the video on pause right now and go get those two things your drum and your words because we're going to use the words today now, on your word sheet, you might be wondering why some of the syllables in the verses are in all capital letters. So there's different versions of the words of this song, but sometimes there's also slight differences in the melody, especially in the verses. Now, here's one for my older kiddos. The song that we're singing, Joshua Fit the Battle, is in minor, and that means that the home note, the most important note, is law. So, all the most important words in a minor song, oftentimes they're on la, or the second most important note in minor, which is me. In fact, the whole verses are based on la and me, talk about your kings of Gideon, talk about your men of Saul, but none like good old Joshua at the battle of Jericho. So I'm gonna use my hand signs to show you the most important notes in the verses, and maybe even give them a little punch with my voice as I'm doing it. Feel free to join in the hand signs. You might wanna shake out your hands, do some hand warm ups to get them ready, especially if you're also playing drums. Yeah, the, I tried drumming on that brick earlier, Mrs. Miller, and I just <laughs> yeah, couldn't get it to work. It was also really painful. So, very painful. Yeah, yeah. Don't, bricks don't make good drums. Okay, let's do all three verses of this song. That means verse, or chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. I think that I got, is that three verses? Yes. Okay. Three verses, four courses. Not a math teacher. Well, actually I am this year, but that's a whole other story. All right, let's do it, and let's do it a little slower than usual so we can get all those amazing words in. The story of this song is so important. We want to make sure we understand it. Let's see. One, two, ready, go. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. Talk about your men of Gideon, talk about your men of Saul, but there's none like good old Joshua at the Battle of Jericho. 
Josh fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Josh fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. Right up to the walls of Jericho, he marched with spear in hand. Go below that ram horn, Joshua cried, cause the battle is in my hand. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. Then the ram lamb sheep horns begin to blow, and the trumpets begin to sound. Joshua commanded the children to shout, and the walls come tumbling down. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. I love that song. I think it's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And you know what the great thing is? It, with a song like that that has lots of different versions that people learned by ear, if you don't remember the notes, or if you want, you can just kind of make up your own, your own little lick, your own little melody in the verses. It's hard for us to do that when we're all singing in one room together, but if you're just off singing it by yourself because you got it stuck in your head, you can improvise, you can make your own new tune. So I challenge you to do that this week. Even more homework. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you. It's been a great treat. Love yeah. the song. Love the song. I love it too. Thank you, Dana. Okay. Well, you know, God has done some really great things for Israel, hasn't he? We kind of go backwards a little bit and think how he led them out of Egypt. Remember all those things he did in Egypt? We're not going to go through the whole list, but he turned the water into blood and he brought the hail and the locusts and the darkness. And then in judgment on their sin, he killed all their firstborn. And then when they tried to pursue Israel in the Red Sea, God brought the waters down and drowned the whole Egyptian army. And then he led them through the wilderness and he gave them the law. And he did lots of things for them that we haven't even had time to cover in the last few weeks. And now he's brought them through the Jordan River and he's brought Jericho down. You would think that with all that, they would know how awesome God is and they'll be sure to follow him, right? Do you think they're going to be good and faithful to obey God in all things? Well... That remains to be seen. Let's call Noah and see if there's something in his box that will give us a clue, okay? All right, your favorite part. One, two, three. Noah! Okay, we're going to do it really fast and see if we can trick him. One, two, three. Hey, Noah! One, two, three. Noah! Oh. Ah. Jericho, 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 Josh fit the battle of Jericho and walked in. Dum, 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 dum. Josh fit the battle of Jericho, 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 Josh fit the battle of Jericho and walked in tumbling down. Oh, Josh fit the battle of Jericho, 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 and oh! That is a great song. Christina, Did you know we've been I singing that? Even, yeah, I was just. I was, I was just in the moment there uh -huh. in the Joshua fit the Battle of Jericho. For some reason, it was just ringing in my brain like huh. it's been there all day long. I don't know where <laughs> it came from, but... It's an amazing song. Oh, and great, it, great yeah, song. Yeah, and you know, we've been talking about Joshua. And that brick that was in your box? Yes. That was to help us remember about the walls that came tumbling oh, down. Oh, yeah, I hope they figured that out. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, I, I have a little gift for you. Oh, you do? Well, last week we were baking cookies. Yeah. And so I brought you some. They're our favorite Thank on the you. ark. <gasps> what, look, look, check what? it out. Oh, look. It's an animal cookie. This is what of course. <laughs> this yeah, one favorite. is a, I think it's a hippo. Is that a hippo? Yeah, it's a hippo or a dog. Hey, let me see that again. That looks like Fiona. Oh. oh man, boys and girls, she, I wish you could see this. It looks just like Fiona. Uh -huh. Oh my I, goodness. I won't eat Fiona. Now sometimes it's hard to sometimes they're hard to tell. Yeah, well that's a like lion. Like if it's a hippopotamus or that's a donkey. A lion. That's definitely a lion. I'm gonna yeah. eat this one. Okay, I'll eat this one. You tell us an elephant joke, I'll eat this one. Well, Thank I'm not gonna you tell you an elephant joke this week. Hmm? Nope. 
I'm going to tell you a chimpanzee joke. <laughs> a chimpanzee joke. I got to chew this up first, you know. Well, you go right Don't ahead. Don't let the kids know I I'm talking to, with food in my I, mouth. What is a chimpanzee's favorite month of the year? Well, Christmas, of course. Right? No. December. No. No? Chimpanzee's favorite month of the year is eight. Roll. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that April. April, April, I get April. it. Chimpanzees oh. are apes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they felt a little left out. So. Well, you, we gotta do something for them because they're, yeah, well, they're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I really you like it. Like I hope one, you guys okay. like that one too. Okay. April. April. Tell Kids, your tell your friends. Tell actually. your friends. Tell your friends. Uh, yep. Okay. Let me see what's in the box. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, there's a oh, lot of stuff in wow. there, besides just cookies. I'm going to put my cookies down over here. There's a plethora. Oh. A plethora. Ple plethora. Oh, there's a word. Plethora More homework. Look up the word plethora. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. There's a bag of silvery coins. coins. Oh, man, wow. that might be. Hey, can I, can I keep this one? worth something. <laughs> man. I want to keep this. And, and here. Goodness, gold. Look at that. Gold. It looks kind of gold. It's got some crystals in it. And, man, I really don't know about this. Oh, nice. Very pretty. Oh, a claw? Yeah. I wonder, what, wonder oh, why oh. this would be in the box. I mean, we've been talking about Joshua and all those great things he did. I don't remember Joshua having any of this stuff. Well, guys, you need to look in the Bible, in the book of Joshua, and see what these coins and this gold, piece of gold here in this fabric might have to do with the Bible story. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.